If you're interested in learning more about outdoor cannabis production, you've come to the right place. Here I'm going to go over some of the key aspects and considerations if you're looking at growing your cannabis outdoors here on Tobacco University. All right, let's get into some of the considerations for outdoor cannabis production. So the outdoor environment in general can be very challenging. There's many aspects that are out of your control. So be sure to maximize the conditions that you do have control over. Soil evaluation and modifications are important grower controlled aspects with outdoor production. And this could be in a field situation or it can be even in kind of like a soil in these fabric pot containers that are growing in an outdoor environment. Be sure you have all the basics covered. You want to know what plant type you're going to be growing, what nutrients you're going to be using, and how you're going to properly irrigate the plants. Now, outdoor growing, uh, scouting is very important as there are many unknown variables. So be sure to take a look out for anything that is out of the ordinary. And this can be looking at the soil. This can be looking at after they're planted, scouting for insects, scouting for um, potential for disease. Also looking at just the general area, what weeds are growing in, in a particular area. Uh, there are a lot of trees, are there are a lot of stumps, are there things to consider, rocks, for example, um, all variables that people want to take into consideration if you're looking at growing your cannabis outdoors. Now a simplified outdoor growing checklist, and again it can be very uh, variable and there'll be a plethora of videos here on this channel to help cover uh, some of these main topics so you can learn about it in more detail. Well, you want to do a general site evaluation. You want to like look at a site and kind of evaluate it. Uh, look at the hills, look at the area, look at the drainage. Uh, prepping the field once you decide on a site, how do you go about that? The plant layout, how are you going to organize your plants? Properly taking a soil test, uh, not only properly taking the soil test, but getting that soil test in, results and in interpreting that soil test are important. Weed management, because there are always going to be weeds that are going to grow, and then irrigation are all important considerations when we're looking at the outdoor environment. Now that site evaluation, well, identifying the field section, uh, allocating subsections. Do you need to soil sample areas differently? Are you going to be planting one area earlier than another? Is there a change in topography, a change in soil type? Um, all these need to be a part of your site evaluation for your cannabis production. Then it gets into field prep, so potentially using a cover crop as we see here. You know, if you're able to get in the site early, uh, prepping that with uh, having a good root structure here for cover crop, preparing the biology, preparing the soil structure for your cannabis crop to come later. Then I said plant layout. You can see here, what's going to be your plant spacing? What's your plant density per thousand square feet or per acre? What's your row orientation? And that could deal with the kind of the change in topography of the land, the angle of the sun, different tree lines. What's going to be your seeding uh, rate and what's going to be your planting date? And are you going to use seeds or are you going to use clones? All important considerations. Now, when you're taking a soil test, you want to make sure you're following the proper methods for a mineral test. And then if you're taking a June nitrate test, slightly different methods for that. So you want to make sure you're going through and reading those protocols ahead of time and making sure you're properly sampling the soil for the test that you're going to be sending that sample out for. Now, when you get that sample results back, hopefully if you took a good sample, uh, you'll get some uh, field representative or growers often say, quote unquote, accurate results. Uh, looking at pH, organic matter, salt, particle size, potentially for nitrogen, uh, phosphorus, potassium, micronutrients, and CEC, cation exchange capacity. They'll come back in a soil test that might look something like this. So how you go about interpreting the soil test and what adjustments you make are going to be important to ensure that your cannabis plants have have a good start or a good environment to support their growth. Now, when you have good cannabis plants and good growing cannabis plants, uh, weeds are also going to be a problem most likely. So you want to be sure you have in-row weed management, as we can see here with use of black plastic, but also between row management. So we're maximizing the production of the crop that we intend to grow and not getting bogged down in example here with some grass species. And lastly, we want to be considerate of irrigation. What type, how are we going to get water to our plants? Are we going to use a drip irrigation system? Are we going to use an overhead irrigation system? We can't always depend or rely on the rain. 
great ways with uh, to be have some method so we can supplement water if we need to, particularly on a high value crop such as cannabis. So hopefully this didn't scare you away from any outdoor productions uh, in the sense that there are a lot of uh, things that growers need to be aware of, even the outdoor applications, not just to get all the free energy from the sun, just plant and walk away uh, to maximize that harvest. These are things you need to take into consideration. And I welcome you to look at other videos here on Tobacco University so you can educate yourself on all these different aspects to hopefully uh, have you avoid some initial mistakes and maximize your production.